A 7.4 earthquake hitting Taiwan is the largest that country has seen in 25 years. Several people confirmed dead now. Hundreds more are hurt. We're hearing from some Utahns now with family in the country who are relieved to learn their loved ones are safe tonight. But the danger, that's not over yet. ABC4's Kate Gardner explains. A seismologist here at the University of Utah grew up in Taiwan. He says luckily all of his family back home is safe, but he says this earthquake could teach Utah a lot about preparedness. Dr. Fan Shilin shows me the readings the U's seismograph stations picked up in Wyoming and Utah. The cost of living in a beautiful area, I guess. He says he's experienced big earthquakes like this one before, and his family lives about 150 kilometers from this quake's epicenter. These are pictures they sent him. Some of his kids was in school, and uh, my mom is in a different building, but they all text, and they all say they are fine. To put a 7.4 magnitude into perspective, he compares it to the 2020 Utah earthquake. So it's almost like at least 50, 60 times stronger than the Magna earthquake. He says it's even stronger than the largest nuclear bomb test in North Korea. The, the biggest one is probably like magnitude six something. He says this could have been much worse, but Taiwan updates building codes after all major quakes. The internet kind of, while well, it slowed down, but it recovered very quickly, and there's no power outage uh, right after the earthquake. So 20 years ago when I was in Taiwan, that big earthquake uh, caused uh, severe outrage for a while. He says Utah has some similar geography to Taiwan and is likely to have an earthquake that could exceed magnitude six in the near future. Like you have big beautiful mountain and the reason you have big beautiful mountains is because you have uh, the earth pushing things around. He says the state needs to continue updating infrastructure in preparation for the next big one and says Taiwan is not in the clear just yet since aftershocks could last weeks or even months. Lynn says the Wasatch fault line runs through the majority of Utah's population, so he's working on a research project to figure out exactly what the next big earthquake would do not only to Utah's infrastructure, but to the people who live here. Reporting from Salt Lake City, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.